Hi, so I'm a big fan of Spider-Man, as if you couldn't tell by my shrine. But I discovered that all of the live-action Spider-Man movies are coming back to theaters thanks to my wife sending me this reel. Tony is releasing all live-action Spider-Man movies in theaters! Now when I watched the first Spider-Man movie, I was about six. My dad played it for me and skipped the scary parts because, well, Willem Dafoe was in it. I watched these at home, but never got the chance to see any of the original trilogy in theaters. I remember when I did have the chance to watch Spider-Man 3 in theaters, but my parents went to see it first, said it was too scary for me, and I was seven. And honestly, good call, because I'm 24, as if you didn't know that, and Venom in that movie is probably the creepiest Spider-Man villain, if not the creepiest Marvel villain in existence. Man literally got two dark horror comedies made about him, which I also love. I also made a wrong opinion years ago about those Venom movies whining that it was going to be an R-rated film, and I think the movie was better for it in the end even though it was only PG-13 and many people actually still want a rated R Venom movie. So it is April 14th, 2024, and it is time to go to the theater. This first showing of Spider-Man was in select theaters, meaning we had to drive 30 minutes out of town, and this showing of Spider-Man was only available for four days, Monday through Thursday. We went on Monday, and while I debated wearing my Spider-Man onesie, it sadly didn't fit anymore, and also it was 80 degrees out, so I went with one of my Spider-Man shirts. I am so excited to see my favorite Spider-Man actor, Tobey Maguire, in theaters for his debut Spider-Man role for the first time, and I know he's my favorite because I cried in No Way Home. If you know, you know. Before we went to the theater, we decided to make a date out of it and went out to eat before going to the theater. Now, before the movie started, there were a few trailers that played, obviously, because we were at a movie theater. The two trailers that stood out to me were, one of them was for Villains, a brand new Studio C slash JK Studios movie, and the other trailer was for the Spy Family movie, which I'm excited for because I love the anime and my sister-in-law let me borrow some of the mangas, so I've read four of them so far and I still need to read these. Um, I've had these for months and I need motivation to read it, so maybe I'll make a video about Spy Family because it is such a wholesome show and manga. The camaraderie of being part of a group of people that love Spider-Man as much as me and hearing them laugh so loudly and audibly was so energizing to be a part of. Mary Jane wasn't as bad of a character as I remembered in the original trilogy, or at least the first movie, because that's what we're talking about. Though her character was one of not knowing who she wanted to be with the entire time. I mean, she basically cheated on Harry twice, with the same person because she has to constantly be with someone at all times due to her lack of independence and also daddy issues. Okay, in reality, Mary Jane was probably the weakest part of the entire film. She barely had a personality, especially when you compare her to the Mary Jane likes in future adaptations of Spider-Man. I also noticed that the CGI was a lot more noticeable on the big screen, which means the juxtaposition, my favorite word, between the character movements and the eyes of the character clashed in a way that made it way too obvious that it was computer generated. There were so many good CGI moments, don't get me wrong, mostly when you couldn't see Peter's face. Other than that though, for being two decades old, it was honestly a fun watch. All the actors did such a good job, set designs and costumes were on point, transitions between scenes were smooth, New York City is basically its own character in the film, teeming with life, especially when they help out the hero in the end, and everybody's motivations made sense as to why they're doing the things that they do. Well, except for Mary Jane, of course. Unless you count her daddy issues to explain how she's acting, but kind of seems a little bit like a scapegoat to me. If you ever get the chance to see an old movie in theaters that you've never seen in theaters because you are either too young or literally w weren't born yet, I recommend this experience to you. If you like Spider-Man, there will be more showings of live-action Spider-Man movies coming up soon. Or, you know... Shrek 2 was also an option that I didn't realize until I was looking at the listings. So you could just go watch that instead, I guess.